Hey, 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 YouTube. <laughs> I get a little crazy sometimes. Oh, hee ho, hee ho, cheeky cheek in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch them eggs to eat them up, eat them up, boga loo. Cheek, cheek, boom, cheek, boom, cheek, boom, chum. I love some chucky. Hey YouTube, today we're gonna do something pretty neat. We're gonna continue the series of easy animation. And this easy animation um, is something that you can use in your children's videos or any kind of demonstration videos or any kind of videos that you want that needs animation. And these techniques that I'm, I'm gonna show you are very easy, um, but today's technique is I'm gonna show you how Photoshop and Premiere work together. And uh, it's that's why I love Photoshop and Premiere because you can switch one and it automatically appears in the other one. Um, so it makes it easy to work with. And anything you can do in Photoshop, man, you can slap that baby right on over to Premiere and record it. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get to easy animation part deuce. All right, let's do it. Don't do, 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 do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Premiere. And uh, I'm going to start a new project. And I use the pretty much same settings for everything. But we're going to call this Switchback. I'm using one hand, so that's why it took me so long to type in switchback. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open up the program, uh, AVCHD, 1080p, and we'll just call it sequence one. It doesn't really matter. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in uh, the, uh, I have two monitors. So uh, I want you to be able to see what I'm working on. So I'm going to bring the little monitor over here so you can see what I'm actually working on. So now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. Um, I'm going to import something. And I'm going to import a background that I've, I work on. And I'm going to show you how easily Photoshop can switch items inside of Premiere that you're working on. So let me find, let me just uh, hear this one. This is just a normal background that I use on a regular basis. And I'll bring this down to the timeline so you can see. All right, so you see the background. Now, what I do with this background is I usually make it motion. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff I can do with this. But if you notice, I can make it move left or right. Um, I can't go up and down because it's actually the size of the screen, but I can move it left or right. But in today's lesson, <laughs> or today's tip and trick, I'm going to show you how you can switch things on and off in Photoshop and make the, the program in Premiere actually switch it, or actually changes it in Premiere. So let me go ahead and I'm going to right click on this item in the timeline, which is my background. And I'm going to click on the button that says edit in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and update and edit this file in Photoshop. I'm going to have to drag it over to the screen so you can see. All right. So you can see this is the background that I'm working on. And it's in Photoshop. So I'm in Photoshop, right? Let's say I want to add something right here in front of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw something. Uh, I'll use the uh, I'll use the elliptical marquee tool. So I'm going to draw something uh, right here. Let me make a new layer for it so I can delete it later because I don't want to save this. Um, it's just for demonstration purposes. 
So I'm going to draw something right here. Let's just draw um, a nice little thing. And I'm going to edit, fill, and let's make the fill color. Uh, let's just make it some strange color. Uh, we'll make it uh, orange. Orange. So then we hit OK. And now it fills that little blob we made. So now let me go up here to select and then hit deselect. So now we have a blob. And I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to transform. And I'm going to go to warp. I like warping things because you can just you can just change. <laughs> it looks like a hot dog. And you know you can just blob it on up. So um, that's our little blob. It doesn't really represent any, anything. I mean, there's all, th all kinds of things you can do to it. You can hit the blending options. And uh, you can add a stroke to it if you wanted to. You know, you can basically do anything. You can put a pattern overlay on it. Sometimes I'll, if I want to give it some contour and shape to it, I'll put an overlay on it and then bring down the opacity. And, you know, it just makes it, it gives it more, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, we'll do that. The orange blob with black line. So now that we have this blau brown or orange blob, let's go ahead and save it. Okay. We're going to save this blob. This is what without it, and this is with it. We'll hit File, Save. Now, let me drag this window over so you can see Premiere. Now, um, see how it automatically popped in there? So whatever I edit in Premiere, I mean in Photoshop, adds it to the uh, Premiere file. So let's go back to Photoshop. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again so you can see. Let's uh, just take the paintbrush to be a little easier than going through all the steps. And I'll just draw something. I don't know what that is. <laughs> kind of strange looking. Now let's hit File Save. And um, I like to save it a couple times just to make sure. Now let's go over to Premiere and see if it updated in Premiere. Sometimes it takes a second. Oh, there it is. See that? See, so that's why I love working with Photoshop and Premiere. Uh, you, can, you can do all kinds of stuff in Photoshop and it automatically updates the program in Premiere. So, um, you know, I have all, if you look over here, I have in this one particular background, there's rocks, there's trees, there's jumps, there's obst obstacles. I've got all these extra stuff in the background that I can switch on and off whenever I need it to do a, uh, a certain cartoon or animation. So I keep this file. Sometimes I actually save it as a JPEG um, because the file size, it just keeps the file size down. But a lot of times I'll just open it up in Photoshop and use the Photoshop because I can switch in and out certain items um, in Photoshop and then it'll automatically appear in, uh, in Premiere. So today's first little simple animation, I, I showed you how I could make a blob on the screen and it automatically updates in Premiere. But let's go ahead and delete this layer. I, I really don't want that layer. So I'm going to delete it, and and I'm going to close Photoshop. Don't need it anymore. I'm not going to save it because, like I said, I, I didn't really do anything to the Photoshop document. So let's go ahead and close Photoshop. So now, here we are. Um, this will update in a second. It should, anyway. Um, why isn't it? I didn't save it. So let's go back and edit it. Adobe Photoshop. Sometimes it takes a minute or two to, oh, it did, it didn't save it. So anyway, let me go ahead and just delete this again. I, I, I guess because I didn't save it, I thought it. 
So now it's gone. Let's go ahead and hit File, Save, and close out Photoshop. And this should just disappear. See how that disappeared? Because um, I took it out. I deleted the layer in Photoshop, and it deletes it out of the background. But now let's go ahead and just look how and make an easy animation. I'm going to use that same race car as we used the other day. All I have to do is go over here and import. And uh, we're going to go to the file folder race car. And I must have deleted it by accident. Well, let's just get an example. I've got tons. You see all these different cars that I have and different little things. Um, you know, we can basically add anything. Let's Instead of doing a vehicle, why don't we add um, this little this little uh, animation that I did. We'll go ahead and put that on the screen here. And let's just view it and see what the animation is. It's basically just <laughs> rocking back and forth. But that's the animation like I showed you the last time. But what you want to do is you want to um, go over here to Video Effects. And then you go to Keying. And then you hit Color Key. And you drag it to the animation. And then you see this little eyedropper up here. You just click on the eyedropper, and then you select what color you want to get rid of or delete. So I'll click the color, and then you use the co color t uh, tolerance scrubber, and you just take that background out. So now um, you don't see any more blue, and all you see is the horse and the rider. So in today's animation, I'm going to make the background move. So you select the layer with the background, go to the very beginning, you uh, do a, uh, a keyframe position. Now remember, this is the background. And then you go to the end, and you just move that background to where you want it. I'll go to the end. Right there is the end. So now, when you play it, this is the animation that you get. Pretty cool, right? And if you if you add pretty cool, right? So anyway, if you add stuff in the background, I mean, you can have people moving by. Um, you can actually put stuff in the foreground by just adding another layer here. I'll show you how to do that real quick. Let's go ahead and import. We're gonna go to. Uh, let's just do a. Um, uh, let's do a. Uh, I have a tree somewhere. Let me see if I can find I have so many things. Uh, I've got rocks. Where is my tree? Well, let's search it. How about that? All right, there's my tree. So now I imported the tree. Do you want to merge all layers? Uh, yes, I do. So let's merge those puppies. Now we're going to bring that over here on the top timeline because we're going to make this in the foreground. So do you see how that tree is in the foreground? Well, let's scale it, scale it up a little bit. Bring it on down. And we'll make him, we're going to make that tree go by him. So we'll go ahead and add a position keyframe. I don't know, say go here. Wait, we got to go back to the position keyframe. And then we got to put it to the front. Go down here. And did I do it the opposite way? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I did it the opposite. <laughs> well, guys, if you ever have that issue, all you do is go up here to the keyframe and just switch them around. I'm doing this kind of on the fly, so sometimes I forget. So anyway, let's just play that little animation and see how that goes. Yep, you see how that's in front of them now? That would be the, if you look over here, you see that it's the top layer. And that's the tree of the top layer. And uh, yeah, so that's today's easy animation. 
I showed you how you can record or you can change something in Photoshop. And like I said, all you have to do is right click here and then edit in Photoshop. You can do that with anything that you have here. You can edit it all in Photoshop. Um, let's say I want to edit the tree. I could do that too. I could uh, basically edit the tree and, uh, and I could put like Christmas balls on there, Christmas lights on there and then hit save. And, and then that tree, the animation's done and everything and the tree automatically gets new stuff. So, I mean, you don't have to go back and reanimate and all that. It updates the item right there in premiere. So anyway, guys, well, that's that. All right. Well, I hope this little tutorial or easy animation or whatever you can call it, I hope it helped you. I hope that you learned something from it and I hope you can actually use it in your own children's video or video uh, period. And, um, and I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button, make a comment, subscribe, just do all the stuff so you'll be updated when we have a new video. All right. Well, until next time here on the Timmy Tube Network, we'll see you later, alligator. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's something Timmy would say. All right. Take care. <laughs> I love some chucky. I like beef chutney. Beef chutney. Beef, 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 beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef, beef chutney. Beef, beef chutney. I like a big fat beef chutney. <laughs>